What's up everyone, it's Rage Crafter here with another Malaka video. This is gonna be part three to this multi-part series of the F4U-4 Corsair model kit build 148 scale. Let's see, today we're gonna be looking at several uh, new parts that uh, haven't been introduced yet. So right before we get uh, into this little build, make sure to go down below and uh, subscribe if you're new and you enjoy content like this because there'll be more of it eventually in the future. And be sure to give this a like if you enjoyed the video. First, we're going to be looking at the tail right here. I think that's step three. Yeah, it's the first part of step three. Let's see. I did use this type of filler for um, filling in some gaps and like smoothing out edges that were uneven. I mean, it's not like specifically made for this kind of job, but uh, it does work pretty well. And you won't really notice, you know, like the rough surfaces or anything because you'll paint right over it. We're going to start with the silver, I think, because I put a couple coats on this and as well as other parts that are going to be used later for the landing gear. Yeah, it looks pretty solid to me, I think. Uh, I don't think we can make it any more sh silver shiny like this. Landing is this, yes. We still have plenty of silver paint to be used. So, might as well take advantage of it. See kids, don't waste paint. Alright, number three done. Uh, fourth one. I mean, there's technically six, if you know. There's like these two front ones. Yeah, looks good. Alright, now let's put another coat on these. I guess I'll call them the front landing gear doors, but there's probably a name for them. I even started painting the rims of the tires here. Silver. I mean, last time when I did this, uh, I used masking tape, but I don't think I think I only use masking tape when I have to paint the like the black for the tires. And I don't know what these things are called. I call them struts. They're kind of like the legs for the landing gear, but. It must be an official name. This part, the uh, 27, I think. 27. No, it just says light left. Yeah. All right, nice. Here we go. I don't know if these rockets are. Silver at all, maybe. Oh, whatever, we're not paying rockets today, we're paying landing gear. That's more important than rockets, I think. Looks good for right now, I'll just leave it to dry. Probably be back in another day. It's now black. Uh, that may be surprising, but there's a reason for that. I had made a mistake with uh, painting this. Uh, I forgot that there was supposed to be a base color, so I'm now. Painting over it with black, so that the the blue will appear a bit more darker uh, in the end. So we're gonna on that a little bit. Now comes the part where I'm gonna put the tail on. Finally, it's about time we got a lot of these parts together. So I'm gonna take the Tamiya. Did I say Tamiya extra thin cement? I'm pretty sure there's like a different version that's better for this. But this is all I have. Uh, I'd rather use this than super glue, so that's what it's gonna be. So I think I need to yeah, hold it in this position with the plastic. So I'll just brush some. Oh, no, oh, oh. Okay, I did not know. The, some of the paint will get on the little brush. I guess it's not a big deal, right? Alright, then just follow it through, I guess, in the model here. Or actually, hold it. A little bit more. These little pegs where it's supposed to stop. And then I need to make sure that it stays perpendicular like this. Don't want it to move too much. So I'll just keep it like that, I think. Oh yeah, now we're gonna be working more on the landing gear. Here we got this like bottom section. Um I don't know what to call it. I'll just put this assembly aside for later. Alright, we're looking at this. We got Landing gear doors here. Oh, apparently you don't glue them. So then how are they supposed to stay? 
I think they just, they like hang down or something. Yeah, I mean, shouldn't be that difficult to paint afterwards here. Let me just cut off the sprue section. I'll need a sand it actually. One, two, three, and four. Sanding time? Where's my sand block thing? I mean, it looks pretty good so far, but, uh, it's worth a shot. I'm a little hesitant, but I'll have to try it. I guess, yeah, it goes in kind of like that. Yeah. Just gotta line it up, and then you're gonna need to put in some force. To try to shove it in that little space. Okay, nope, that did not work. Uh, try it again. Maybe... And then you go from like a horizontal viewpoint or something. Yeah, oh, that's how you do it. Oh, that's so easy, wow. Uh, I was doing it a different way. And it wasn't as effective, but this this method works a lot better. Let's try it on the other one. It should be as easy as there's like a little snap noise that you should hear. Well, there we go. This one didn't have much of a snap, but it, it is in there and I can... Move it, it's a little rigid, so I'll probably have to sand a few edges. Let's see, on the next side, we gotta take a look at the wheels. Uh, where are the wheels? Yeah, put them over here. I actually assembled them, like, a few days ago. Or, yeah, like, two days ago, something like that. Um, yeah, the, there's, like, this, what is it called? Like, uh... The lining, like, edge in the middle of them, or something. I forgot what, what you would call that, but I'll just quickly sand that down. And maybe I should use exact, the exact net to, like, highlight the, like, the tread. To trace the tread of the wheels, or the, the tires. Giving it a much bolder look, you know? Although I don't really like doing this because you kind of rub out the detail that I need to capture, you know? It's a lot better now. Uh, I don't know though. It's like a tiny little gap, but I don't know if it'll make much of a difference. Yeah, that seems to work. So there's these several different parts to assemble the landing gear. There are these kind of like strut leg-like pieces. As well as this song, uh, what is it, where is it? Yeah, this, I don't know, this looks like, I don't even know what it's called, but it's supposed to allow it to to rotate, I think. Like, to pop in and out, kind of like that. I think it's, yeah, it's kind of like a hinge sort of piece. So, yeah, we have the wheels over here. Those actually still need to be painted, so. Yeah, yeah, I might have to hold off this stuff for a little bit. They're kind of like horseshoe. Shape. I don't know. Right, if I bring it close to the camera, you can see it better. Oh, that autofocus. And yeah, that looks alright on camera. Yeah, it's like horseshoe shaped. It's supposed to keep the this uh, strut right here attached. The strut right here attached to uh, the landing gear door here. There's like two holes in it, and then you just like it's supposed to go on like that, and then and then this horseshoe shaped holster thing will keep it in place. The gear hinge, yeah, so I was right, it's a hinge part. There we go. Now I'm just gonna pause the recording here and come back when I'm done sanding all this stuff down. Then we'll put it all together. Now comes the time to finally put the landing gear together. Alright, first we're gonna be looking at the tires here. They're all complete, I don't know if you can see them well, but I added some brown Paints to make them look a little bit rusted, so that gives off some kind of aging effect. So I'm assuming I do have to glue in the tire because it doesn't tell me, so I'll just do that real quick. I feel like I should use the super glue because there's paint on this already, and that would make it easier, but uh, I'll just try it out with the cement like this, and this little like peg thing sticking backwards, and the wheel goes on. It's like so, it's pretty simple. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's colored different. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, that would be. Okay, I did not realize that I was. I paused the recording. 
and it didn't resume for some reason. But here we are. This is drying currently, and I don't know if you can see it. Let me try to hold it. Langer's right there, so that's cool. And while that's drying, I'm I'm uh, looking at this these parts right here, these mid sections of the wings. Uh, let's see. What's weird is that this one has like an elevated surface for this part, and the other one doesn't. I don't get that. But I'm gonna need to glue for this because there's just like one extrusion that is kind of blocking it from staying so I think our only option really is to use super glue for this and yeah it's, it's gonna be a lot stronger so that's good and just press it keep it in place <laughs> for like a minute or so I'll probably just keep it on the side to dry and then uh, let's do the other one here it is. So weird. It's like, I feel like it would go the other way, but it doesn't seem like it. If that's a drive, uh, now I think we can look back at the landing gear. I don't know how secure the wheel is to the strut, but uh, it's best to take a look at it see its rigidity. Yeah. Oh yeah, that thing is not moving at all. Okay, that makes sense how this stays here. It's all like, based on weight, I guess, and stuff. I also like to reconstruct a piece because it somehow got lost. I dropped those, those like horseshoe shaped pieces that are meant to go on the side of the strut. And it just fell like next to me over here. Uh, I don't know why you can't see, but yeah. It was like left of me. And I was looking for them for like three days and still couldn't find them. So I just decided to make a really jank replica. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. I don't know. Why? Why I put this? God damn it! This does work. I can put all three together before I oh, that this went out of line. No, 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 no. this is so much more difficult. Than I had it in place, and now it's it just fell or something. You know, it doesn't want to cooperate. Yeah, there we go. It's better. Much better. Yes. There it is. Okay. Little piece we need. This one. Let's do this. Super glue don't fan. I'll just use super glue. I don't want to mess around with it. I don't want the paint to be like messed up and stuff. Yeah, I actually got the dimensions right. By hand. I didn't even mold it right. I didn't even know that was a thing. I don't have the materials for that. All right, now that I have somewhat secured the laying here in place, uh, let's see if these are done drying, which, yeah, it seems like they are. I don't know if I should paint them now. Mm, maybe not. Yeah, that might interfere, but interfere with everything. But now I think we can place this. So this goes on the right side, I'm pretty sure. I guess we can only do one at a time. That's a more reasonable way to do it. Got that on. It's a little bit more difficult to push it forwards, unlike the other one. I think we'll start with the left side, because the right side is being a little difficult right now. Okay, so I think it'd be best to use the super glue on this, just to give it more strength. Right, let's, let's test fit this really quickly. It's gonna need some filler or sanding or something on the leading edge, but it's not that much of a problem. I need one of those things here there. Uh I guess put one at the back, one in the front. Oh so the language is supposed to stay up, alright. You can't you have an option you don't have an option to close it. It just has to stay that way. Alright, now let's try the other side. Alright, I think it's aligned properly now. Yeah, I think they're symmetrical on both sides now in terms of their their angle of like I don't know, just their their opening angle or something. Seems good. It seems seems to look fine to me. I can always like paint the landing gear again later on. And then then paint all this or like all the black area, it's gonna be blue. 
Let's do that afterwards. I think now I can stand on its own. Let's see. We do like a pre-fit of the fuselage. Let's see. I'm just gonna check both sides, make sure everything is flushed well. Yeah, it's looking alright to me. I think now I can take off these clips and then you can finally see it stand on its own for the first time. And damn, does that look good already. already. Just, why can't I talk today? Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I don't know, let's see if I can lift it up, yeah. Just get a closer look here. Uh, this is what it's looking like so far. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some more painting to it, obviously. But, uh, everything's assembled for this part, at least. We're up to step five. Yeah, step five. And this is what we got so far, so it's looking pretty nice. And I have no regrets of what I've done so far. So, this is gonna have to end off this episode of the series. Make sure to subscribe and like these video if you enjoyed. And be sure to share this with uh, friends, family, or anyone that's interested in aviation whatsoever, because it might be interesting to them, you know? And on that note, I'll see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. See ya.